Union Station. Doors will open on the left. Hey everyone, today is Sunday, March 21st. The time right now is 4.27 p.m. And the temperature outside is 14 degrees Celsius. I'm here at Union Station in downtown Toronto. And the plan for this one is to head on up to Front Street. And from here, I'll walk over to the Esplanade. And I'll take a look at how the patios are doing. On that, on that street, and then I'll head up to Front Street East and walk back towards Young. So this here is Front Street West. And there's a look towards the tower and Union Station just on the left. And this is Bay Street. It is just the second day of spring here in the city. And it's also the second day of the year that restaurants are able to serve customers outdoors. There's still no indoor dining. And there's a look up at the new CIBC Square office complex. I don't think this will be a particularly long walk. It's not damaged up. It really was like, well, the market was nice and hot. Like, you can hear the Not just even on the place, but it's like, how much you actually It's like the layout, all these things. So this is Young Street I'm approaching and I'm currently walking east along the south side of Front Street. And on the right is the Dominion Public Building. And it looks like there's a proposal to add a couple of 45 and 49 story towers to that site. There's a look at the Canadian Hockey Hall of Fame. I'd imagine on a day like this, things would be quite busy down by the waterfront. I was there yesterday live streaming and recording one of these regular walking videos. There's a look north up Young. There's the former O'Keeffe Center for the Performing Arts. It's had a number of different names over the years. And now it's currently the Meridian Hall. Meridian is a credit union. At least I think it is. And 
There's a look up at the L Tower. That building's been plagued by a number of construction issues. Issues. Not pronouncing things correctly. And there's where the GO bus terminal used to be. Right there at the Esplanade and Young, and that would have stretched over to Bay Street. But it's moved to the base of CIBC Square. And this is the Esplanade, and I wanted to come here as it's a street that's rather well known for its patios. And it's been a long time since we've seen them open in the city. And I went out last night I grabbed a meal and a few drinks at a bar. Oh, yeah? And the waitress there was telling me that they had to sort of scramble to open at the last minute and they only had two waitresses on staff. And they normally have a lot more than that. And most restaurants did not have enough time to prepare their outdoor patios as it was announced that they could open on Friday. So they had less than a day's notice. But there's a number of places right along this stretch of the Esplanade here, so I thought hopefully some of them are open. I think maybe on Friday night I'll have to check out King Street West where all the Nightlife is typically centered. And here's the Keg Steakhouse. I ate here in November. They had a large tent over this outdoor patio. And numerous heat lamps, although on a day like today, you don't really need them. They will be needed once the sun goes down, though. No. It got quite cold last night. There's Shoeless Joe's. I think this might be a new entry to the Esplanade here. And the Spaghetti Factory. This place has been here for as long as I can remember. certainly great to see these places up and running again. Although unfortunately not all bars and restaurants are so lucky. A lot of areas don't have the ability to set up an outdoor patio so I don't really know how they're supposed to survive. And that is Scotland Yard and right next door is the beer market. And the beer market's a pretty large chain that's had locations spring up all over the place lately. They've got a big outdoor area. And next to the beer market, you can actually access this place from inside, is Goose Island Brew House. So that's pretty much it for the stretch of patios on the Esplanade. But no trip to this area would be complete without checking out the original Banksy just up ahead here.
Looks like they have some more patio space back here. And there it is. Don't want to linger there too long and pick up a copyright strike from that music. So what I'll do is I think I'll walk east to maybe George Street and then I'll walk up to Front Street and we'll swing past a few more patios. There's a couple of restaurants at Front and Jarvis, which I think might be open. And this is the St. Lawrence Market just up ahead. And to the south of it is the temporary home of the Northern Market. They're building a new five-story facility just across the street from the St. Lawrence Market on Front Street. And that would not be open on a Sunday. At least not during COVID. I don't quite remember what exactly their normal operating hours are. And this here is Market Street. And here is Jarvis Street. Although south of the Esplanade, it is Lower Jarvis. Let's look down towards the lake. You can head down to Sugar Beach to the south of here. I walked through there on yesterday's stream. And there's St. Michael Catholic School. And running along the Esplanade here is David Crombie Park. And I said I was going to go up George Street, but it's a nice enough day. Maybe I'll just head down the Esplanade for a few more blocks. There's the Woodworth, Woodsworth Housing Co-op. And those condos off in the distance is where you will find the distillery district.
the last time we had outdoor dining, a number of the restaurants and a bar in the distillery district were set up for outdoor service. There's a big patio, although I question the compliance of this place. <laughs> Looks pretty much enclosed to me over here, but. I probably wouldn't have any problems eating there. All right, so maybe I'll turn up Sherburn here and head up to front. There's a 121A bus. That's the Fort York and Esplanade bus. That'll ultimately be heading to exhibition. So I could continue down or along the Esplanade there, but we're gonna Turn up to front. This Rabba up here has been here forever. And unfortunately, there are bike lanes here on Sherburn Street. And there's a couple of new condo towers going up right here. There's a look to the east. I'll be back to record the part of the Esplanade and Front Street East that I missed in a future video.
that would be the financial district. Straight ahead there. There's a subway next to a museum of illusions. That's one of those trick eye museums. And unfortunately, I read that the Lower Ossington Theater, which is a small performing arts theater, over on Ossington Avenue has gone out of business. They were not able to survive under the current circumstances. There's a McDonald's. You can now eat outside at McDonald's. <laughs> it's lighter than most carry-on. And a Cora breakfast and lunch spot. And it looks like they've got a nice big patio, although I don't think they're normally open at this time. And here's the places I wanted to check out. Looks like they're setting the patio up here. And uh, I don't even know the name of this establishment. It says the Jason George on one of the windows. And here's Corner Place. I think this is one of those places that probably just didn't have enough time to get everything ready to open up. They've got to deal with getting their wait staff having their full kitchen. I'm sure they're mostly operating with a smaller kitchen staff than normal, as it's pretty much takeout and delivery only. So they need to get supplies in for that. The place I went to last night had a fairly limited menu, which was probably a smart idea. There's the St. Lawrence Market. and the future home of the Northern Market. I'll try to keep the camera angled away from the glare. Here's an LCBO, and this a and w used to be a Paramount Fine Foods. There's a few different eating spots along here. And I wonder if the Hot House, which is quite popular, Oh, they do seem to have their patio open. That's just across the street over there. There used to be a Wendy's along here a long time ago.
There's someone setting up to take a picture of the Flatiron Building. the hot house patio this is the st. Lawrence neighborhood and this place has been a staple of this area for quite a while There's an entrance to a metro supermarket. I was going to continue west along Wellington Street, but I think I can loop my way back there. There's St. James Cathedral straight to the north of here. So even though there's been an uptick in cases, we're kind of at a tipping point for a lot of these businesses. So I think that along with the prolonged periods of very limited social activity And the fact that we're in spring and the weather's been pretty good. It's kind of been a perfect storm for people getting outside. Good. Good. Weather's good. I've certainly been one of them. But here's some more of the hot house patio space. So this is one of those places that can do quite well, even with the current limitations in place. Unfortunately, some areas like Chinatown, there's virtually no patio spaces. This burger shop has a pretty big rooftop patio there. But they do not yet appear to be open. And coming up on the right is one of my favorite restaurants in the city. Suko Thai, but you can see the disadvantage a lot of these restaurants are at when they can't set up their patios. And I don't think there's any type of additional compensation or relief being given, so it's a rather uneven playing field. And here is Berksy Park. Oh, this place. Uncle Tony's, they have some outdoor seating set up right on the street. It looks like there's reserved signs up on all those other tables. And here is Berksy Park. It's 
interesting. This post and ring is t scheduled to be removed on March 8th. Please do not lock your bicycle. Oh, on or after March 8th. I guess they're ripping up this part of the sidewalk. And this Aroma espresso bar over there has some outdoor seating. This part of Wellington Street, which started at church, where I crossed by the, the Works Burger restaurant, is one way. And just to the south of here, Front Street runs one way in the other direction. But that's just temporary. As once you get I think it's to the west of Bay Street, they become two-way streets. And this place, Cantina, didn't even try to set up. They are probably particularly hard hit by the fact that they're in the financial district. And these towers are going to be mostly vacant until at least late fall. This is Young Street I just turned north on. And I think that's about it. As far as seeing any patios. I wasn't intending on this being a particularly long video. There's someone who bought a Samsung T550 soundbar. I'll probably look that one up when I get home and check out some of the reviews. I'm a bit of a geek like that. And here is King and Young. And you know what? Maybe I'll just stay north up to Queen Street and pop in at Queen Station. There's a look west into the financial district. Here is Crafts, which is a large restaurant and bar, and they have a patio spot. Looks like it's <laughs> looking at a reflection of my face, but off in the distance, I assure you, there was a large outdoor patio.
since we're waiting anyways, might as well cross over to this side. And there's a Good Life Fitness. I think they got a bit of a bailout from the government. Something, it's either 30 or 300 million. I remember seeing someone had commented that. And that would be Temperance Street. All right, let's go back to this side. I need to be on this side anyways, as I'll be heading up the northbound side of line one. So I'll have to hop into Queen Station on the east side of Young. I won't be eating out at a patio tonight. A McLaren just rolled by, but I missed it. It's Canadian. Canadian. Well, once I figure out dinner plans, I'll edit this video. And I'm thinking I'll do a live stream from home on my other channel, Johnny Stumbles. If that's something you might be interested in, you can check that channel out. I also do shorter form walking and cycling videos. And I do a fair bit of transit videos on that channel. More there than I do on this one. There's a look along Queen Street. Now I just have to fish out my mask and put that on so I can hop into the subway. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this walk along the Esplanade and Front and Wellington and Young and then up to Queen Station and downtown Toronto. It's been a rather nice second day of spring here in the city. This station is connected to the south end of the Eaton Center, which is finally open.
and it looks like the next train is just about to roll in. So thanks for watching. If you wish to support the channel, you can check out links to my Patreon account in the description. You can also check out channel memberships on my YouTube channel page. And I also have an Instagram account. All right, thanks for watching and I shall catch you on the next one.